Buenos dias. Welcome to the vlog. Welcome to the gym here in Mexico. I've showed this place before, but absolutely awesome to be able to train in a place like this. Today, shoulders, chest day on that fitness culture program. It's been a good day. Uh, kind of getting over a little bit of a shoulder injury. It's been nagging for a long, long time. Uh, but today's video, our nightly routine. So we're done with the gym. It is 6 p.m. right now. It's actually like 5.58. This is about the time, we usually don't work out this late, but this is about the time we go home, start winding down our day from work. Because we can work from anywhere, we're still keeping up with the business we own and then also work with so fitness culture culture subs Apollo and sage obviously Gymshark whoop all of those companies it's hard on the road doing that but we're just waiting on Morgan's k1 visa trying to get into a routine because that's so important and in that routine in order if you're gonna be productive you gotta get sleep so tonight's nightly routine is with the goal of getting to bed by about 10 p.m. That doesn't mean to sleep, but in bed by 10 p.m., I'm setting myself up for success because that means I'm gonna get at least seven and a half hours of sleep. I probably wake up about 6.30 if I'm lucky. I've been having trouble sleeping. I, I don't sleep well, I don't feel well, so I've gotta do everything I can to set myself up for success so you guys might be able to enjoy and use some of these nightly routine tips that I have. The first one is set a to bedtime and a wake up time that you stick to. So my bedtime is 10 p.m. That means I got about four hours. In that time, we gotta take hops for a walk, eat dinner, have a little wind down, turn off the phones, do an activity together, and then get ready for bed, and then get into bed and kind of do our, our nighttime routine. So right now, Hobbs waiting back at the house at the casita. We're gonna go on a little walk. So lucky to have Hobbs here. Oh my gosh. After a fresh shirt and a little baby white bath, we're now ready to get Hobbs ready. You ready to go? Guys, these walks kind of uh, start our nightly routine. It's so freaking hot here in Mexico. This is the only time of the day. Obviously, if you have a French bulldog, the heat isn't his friend. So we go early in the morning at about seven as part of our morning routine. And then we go in the evening. And it's kind of nice. We don't bring our phones. It's a pretty, it's a pretty small walk because Hobbs can't do very long, but it's long enough. Hobbs, we're going to race to mom. We're going to see who's faster. See if, he, see if the old man still got him. Come on. Come on. <laughs> that was the cutest thing I've ever seen! Can we get that in slow-mo? He was kicking up back legs for real! This is good! Yeah, that's how 6.55, we can eat dinner at seven. That's the goal because really you want to give three hours for your food to digest. If you guys have ever had a big meal and then tried to sleep, especially with a lot of carbohydrates, you notice your heart races, you can't get us to sleep. Obviously carbohydrates break down to sugar, gonna make you have energy. So I like eat about three hours before bedtime. I'm not afraid of eating before bed. Like I'll still have carbohydrates at this meal. It won't be my biggest meal of the day. I think breakfast is probably my biggest post-workout lunch in that area. And then tonight we worked out later, so I'm definitely still having carbohydrates. You know, usually I'm pretty active, even late in the day if we go golfing or down to the beach. So always have carbohydrates in them. If you're someone who's not very active later on in the day, I would say you can cut back on your carbohydrates in the last meal. Definitely want to be careful late at night for two reasons. Studies, so many studies have shown that staying up late, a lot of bad things happen. If you don't have that, that bedtime that you're hard, like, hey, I'm gonna be to bed on this time. You stay up late, your body releases ghrelin, the hormone that actually makes you hungry. And what happens is self-control is just like a muscle. You use it all day making decisions. At the end of the day, we usually reach for food and it's usually junk food. So it's very easy to reach for that bad food. So late at night, oftentimes people start eating like crap. Dumps a bunch of sugar into their blood so you get glucose into the bloodstream all of a sudden you're pre-diabetic before you know it anyhow I digress back to our our food yeah we try to stick with stuff that's just not gonna sit super heavy and take a long time to digest because nobody likes that if you do need a snack later on too we might munch on popcorn if it's a night we watch Netflix or dessert will be well you guys will see it you know a little ice cream so delicious, low calorie ice cream sandwich, but cooked a lot of chicken breast in my life. Like just grilled, basically some olive oil, sea salt. I didn't ever have kupi mayo in my life until I met Morgan. Uh, soy Brussels sprouts, and- Do you want yours chopped up? 90 second rice. This 
I found Diet Dr. Pepper today. It's not everywhere in Mexico, even everywhere in our travels that had Diet Dr. Pepper. Very few places. So I bought it, but I will not be drinking it because of the caffeine. If you're not sleeping well at night, if you have a hard time going to sleep, you should really cut back on caffeine at about lunchtime. I do it at about two or three. I didn't even have pre-workout today because of that. So about 400 milligrams of caffeine is what a person my size really should limit to a day. If you're caffeine sensitive, definitely do not be drinking caffeine, tea, unless it's chamomile, caffeine free. Um, even chocolate cake. I don't want you eating it what? for a couple of reasons. Chocolate cake has caffeine in it. Does it? Yeah. I mean, just late at night. Eat it any other time. It's dinner time for him. Food? You want food? It is about an hour after a walk. Oh. How, does Daddy's, how does Daddy's little piggy eat? All right, right now we're gonna get into our activity. Usually play cards like we are tonight, pickleball, go to the beach and watch sunset, finish up golf. This is about the time of night we turn off phones. Um, I don't like to watch TV or anything an hour before bed, which would mean nine o'clock, no TV. That's a hard one for us to stick to. It's so. 7.30 right now. Yeah, so I'm saying 7.30 right now, we can play some cards. There's a set, there's a set, there's a set. Just say no, I'm gonna say you can't do this. <laughs> We're gonna sit down, we're gonna cuddle with Hobbs. This is our time, our family bonding time. We're gonna unload the dishwasher, clean up dinner, put on that, and then it's gonna be time to shower. Wow, that show is pretty so intense. Long. We just get done with it, 9.08 right now. Time to hop into the shower, and then pre-bed, floss, brush teeth, use my skincare that I use almost every night, and then I throw my PJs on, look over my to-do list for tomorrow, just kinda write everything that I need to get off my mind into my journal and then jump in bed and well after we start the dishwasher and lock all doors that's the final final thing i do i'm gonna turn off the camera now because it's kind of part of the bedtime rituals to get rid of electronics which sadly means saying goodbye to the youtube folks but that is our nightly routine. It's not even 10 o'clock yet, is it? It's like 9.40. And one thing I want to do is really increase my productivity. Like, I just feel like when I am not in a routine, I get bad at that. So I will be researching tomorrow on how to be more productive. But I think it starts with a better daily routine. And part of that daily routine, the most important part, I think, is waking up and going to bed at the same time each day. I mean, studies show when you don't get enough sleep, memories impaired make poor judgment. When you stay up late at night, good things don't happen. You reach for bad food, you make bad decisions. Um, you release tons of stress hormones that in the long run lead to disease, cardiovascular disease, heart disease, diabetes, all of those things I talked about. So really, I think it's all about creating that mindset that sleep isn't bad. We all need sleep. Anyhow, I, I think if you guys can prioritize my sleep, my water, and my diet. So anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're off to bed. We're gonna read a little bit and then it's gonna be lights out. Just like this. This, this is what heaven looks like. I think the show is gonna be pretty good. It's pretty brutal right off the bat. The guys He's signing it with his blood? Yeah. The guy's a POS, spending his old mom's money on gambling. Not cool, bro, but we got popcorn.